Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a long requested video. So many of you guys have been messaging me and asking me when I'm gonna be doing my hair care routine video, and today is the day. And it wasn't until I lined up these products here that I realized how much is involved in my hair care routine. So I'm gonna be going through everything that I do with my hair on a weekly basis, and that involves from hairbrushes, styling products, even supplements and vitamins, and as well like shampoo, conditioners and stuff. So before we dive in, my hair has been on a journey. So um, it was really well looked after when I was younger. My mum really looked after my hair. It was lovely, long and beautiful. And then I hit my teens and I discovered box dyes and I just frazzled my hair. I literally bought the lightest box dye that I could find, put it on my hair and just left it as long as I could so that I ended up with basically white hair. And then I delved into dyeing it brown and a couple of other colors, even pink at one point. I have been there, I've done that and I've kind of got that out of my system and I know not to touch my hair anymore. So it wasn't until about two years ago um, when I really started delving into the world of hair care products and it has developed a lot over that time. I've learned what products suit my hair and what products I really love. And even over like the past like six months, uh, my hair routine has changed a lot. So one of the reasons that it has taken me so long to do this video is because I was holding off. I've not had my hair done since August last year, beginning of August. And I was like, I'm holding off and I'll get my hair done. It'll be nice, like freshly colored for me doing this video. But with lockdown and everything, I realized that's not gonna happen for a few months and I can't keep you guys waiting forever. So I thought probably the best place to start would be the hairdressers. So I actually fly over to the UK to have my hair done. And that's because I found a salon and stylist that I absolutely love. I have been going to them for a fair few years now. I didn't have my hair colored every couple of weeks, probably like twice a year. I like to go for like a low maintenance color, something that's not going to um, need topping up frequently. I'm not the person that goes in for root touch-ups every couple of weeks, that's just not me. I'm at pretty low maintenance. You will see some of that reflected in my routine. I mean, some of it does take a little bit of effort, but um, I feel like it's fairly low maintenance. So the hairdressers that I use in the UK is called Ashley Gamble, and they are based in Shifnal, Shropshire. Now I have actually booked in to go in June, so I cannot wait and I am counting down the days. But if you do live near there, I do suggest that you check them out because they are incredible. I have Ashley Ashley himself to cut my hair and his uh, fiance Steph who is like the master of hair coloring she's just so incredible and there really is no one else that I would trust to do my hair and the reason I wanted to mention the salon and the stylist that I use is because it's really worth investing the money in people that are going to look after your hair and really know what they're doing I have never ever come out of that salon looking at my hair thinking I hate it I have just been stunned by the results and they've always exceeded my expectation. So it's really worth investing in a good salon, good people, and finding that salon that works for you. And trust me when I say I have been through some bad stylists and salons to get to where I am today. Some of them have been like huge top rated uh, stylists and I have come out being really disappointed. So that aside, I'm gonna go into the products that I use and um, show you exactly what I use, when I use it and how often. So first up we have hair brushes and I actually use three different kinds. So um, I'm gonna start with the first one. And the reason that I use three different types is because I don't like to go straight in with my hair with a really like heavy handed brush and just try to pull all these knots out of my hair straight away. I like to ease it gently. Now granted, I won't have time to do all of these brushes every single day, but um, I try and do it as much as possible. So the first brush I use is one of these two. Now this one is called the Tangle Angel, and this one is the Jim Hair Don't Care a Sport FX brush. 
and if you look at the bristles on them they are really really similar i would say this one is better because um the bristles on this are already st starting to fall off i got this in december November, December. I probably wouldn't purchase it again for that reason. I just got this free with Glossy Box, but having said that, I'm not saying it's a bad brush. It does work really well, um, and it does fit really nice into your hand. It's like a mouse. But the only downside to that is that the bristles are already kind of bending, and it looks like it's gonna fall apart soon. So the other one I use, as I said, is the Tangle Angel. I picked this up from TK Maxx, I believe for about 14 pounds. Um, and it's so so lovely it just like gets all the knots and tangles out of your hair and it just really glides through your hair so when I first come out of the shower I will grab this brush and I start from the ends and gently work my way up untangling all the knots I'm the kind of person that gets out of the shower and my hair tangles terribly and that's because I have really fine hair so it does get really knotty. I'm not the person that just takes a brush to the hair and it just like runs through. My hair does get really tangled and knotty. So that's the reason I use three brushes and I will go for this one first, detangling the ends. Second, I will go with the paddle brush, which this one is a Denman one. I can't remember how much this was. I wanna say like 15, 20 pounds, but I really love Denman brushes. I think they're really good quality and they will never fail you. So I first got this brush when I had hair extensions and I used this so that it was a bit gentler when brushing through them. And I use this again, just to go through it, just to get the knots that the Tangle Angel doesn't get because the Tangle Angel is quite soft and gentle. It doesn't always get every single knot out. So I will then work my way through with this one in exactly the same motion, starting from the ends and going all the way to the top. And finally, the last brush I use is the Denman, um, I don't know what this one's actually called, but it's got these hard bristles on. Now they do these in like black and white, I believe. I always had the white one when I was little. That is how old these are. I have used these since I was a little girl. My mum always used this on my hair. And this is really good for getting out every single knot in your hair. So if I'm styling my hair, I will go for this brush and I will make sure that all the knots and everything are out of my hair before I start styling. So this is kind of just like a finishing brush just to make sure that it's super sleek, super smooth and everything is out. I don't tend to reach for this every day. It's more of like an ad hoc, ad hoc one. <laughs> so next up is supplements and I take a fair few. I'm pretty sure I rattle when I walk around. I take that many. Now some of the supplements I do take aren't specifically for my hair but they do have an impact on your hair, but that's not the reason that I take them. So first up we have B12 and I take this just to reduce fatigue and tiredness and to help with energy, but it does also have an effect on your hair growth and like stimulating the follicles, I'm pretty sure. So I take one of these every single day and I get them from Holland and Barrett or more recently I've started picking them up from Amazon because I find that Amazon supplements are a lot cheaper than Holland and Barrett but I used to always get them from Holland and Barrett in the penny sale. So next up I have biotin and I started taking these because I would always have the hair gummies, you know like the gummy bear hair or I can't remember the name of the other one, but I started taking them when they went viral and I actually watched a documentary on them and they found that the only ingredient that was actually having an impact on your hair growth is biotin. So I now just take a biotin on its own. I cut out the rest of the gummies and everything else that it had in and I just take biotin on its own for that reason. So again, I have the recommended amount. So these ones, say one tablet a day, but the ones I take from Holland and Barrett are actually two tablets a day. Next, I have marine collagen and I have taken this for a long time. I used to have the powdered version and I would literally mix it in my coffee and it just tasted like fishy coffee. It was horrific. So I then went on the hunt for a tablet form because I just could not hack fishy coffee. I even tried it in orange juice, I'm pretty sure once, just to um, see if that masked the flavor, but coffee was the best because it was strong, but still it was not great. 
So um, I then went on the hunt for tablet like capsule versions and I found these. So there's two types of collagen. You can get marine collagen or bovine collagen, which is like beef collagen. The reason that I take marine collagen is it is absorbed better by your body. So if you take the same amount of beef collagen that you do marine collagen, you will benefit more from the marine collagen than you will the beef collagen. Now I'm not saying bovine collagen is bad, it isn't, but you do get more for your money with marine collagen and that is why it's more expensive. So this particular um, marine collagen has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and E in it. And the reason that collagen is good for your hair is it's rich in amino acids, which are essential for building the proteins in your hair, like keratin. And I take two of these every single day. Um, I, again, used to use Holland & Barrett, now I use the ones from Amazon. And finally, I've got iron and vitamin C. So I take this for tiredness and fatigue, um, but it actually helps with your hair help and your hair growth. I take one tablet of these every single day. So next, moving on to hair masks, I try and do one once a week and I try and pair it up with the following day when I'm gonna wash my hair. So um, I will tend to do it like on a Sunday evening when I'm getting ready for work and just kind of re relaxing and winding down. I will then put a hair mask through my hair and then I will leave it overnight and wake up the next morning, wash, shampoo my hair um, after I've done my workout. So when I'm doing a hair mask, I will take my hair and coat it completely in the mask. I will then put it up in like a loose top bun, like right on the top of my head. And then I'll put a shower cap over. And then this is something that I recently have started doing is putting another hair bubble on top so that it secures it on my head because the amount of times that I have gone to sleep and woken up and the cap had gone, there was hair mask all over my pillow and it just was not good. So I've recently started doing that and I can say that it does secure it and it does stay all night. So onto the actual products. Now, the first one I'm gonna show you is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Food Masks. They do these in a couple of different options and I do have them, I'm pretty sure all here. I think they might do a green one, which I don't have. Um, but I have the Banana and Shea, which is good for dry hair. And I'm pretty sure that one's my favorite. Um, I don't know why, but I can never remember which one I like best. And I literally just grab whichever is at the front of the cupboard, shove it on my hair, don't think anything uh, more of it, and I always forget. I do know there is one that I prefer more than the others, but I can't remember which one. So every time I go to buy it, I end up buying all of them and saying to myself, I'm gonna take note this time, and I don't. So I'm pretty sure it's the banana one. I'm pretty sure that one is the best seller, but Maybe I'm wrong. I will let you guys know if I find out which one is my favorite. Um, next up, I have the Goji and Soy, and I actually haven't tried this one yet. It's a fairly new one out in the range, and it is for colored hair. And the other two are the Papaya and Armor, which is good for damaged hair, and also the Coconut and Macadamia, which says is good for frizzy and unruly hair. So these retail for about seven pound each, but you can often get them on offer, buy one, get one free. I always get them like two for seven pounds or something, which um, when you take into account the amount of product in here, there, there's just under 400 mil. So it is really good value for money. They are natural, so 98% natural ingredients, and they have no silicones in them. Plant oils, they are vegan and they are dermatologists dermatologically tested, I can never say that. So next up, I've got the Kevin Murphy Angel Mask. Now this is actually the conditioner from his range, but I do have the mask upstairs and you will have seen in my how to color correct slash tone from home video, I've used the coloring angels and I think I use the cool angel. They do also have a blonde one, which is good um, if you have like platinum blonde hair that is turning a bit brassy. Um, but these are really good products. I think they retail for about 23 pounds, but they are really good all rounder products. They're not super hydrating. Um, they're not gonna, if you have quite dry ends, they're not gonna fully like saturate them and leave them really like silky soft. But it is a really good mask for every now and again. And I do love a couple other, 
And I do love a couple of his other products, which I will go into a bit further on. So next, this is a bit of a cult favorite and it's the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. So this is really good if you have quite dry, brittle hair and it is just breaking off. It's suitable for all hair types and it just gives it a bit more bounce, a bit more stretch so that it's not so prone to breaking off and gives you like fuller, thicker hair. You can actually pick this up in QVC. I believe it's like a massive tub for something like 60 quid, which is a huge saving. So if you can get your hands on it, I believe it does sell out really fast. If you can get your hands on it, then check it out. And finally, the holy grail of hair care, which is Olaplex. So Olaplex is my number one product for hair care. And I've got to say without Olaplex, my hair would not be where it is today. So this one is number three, and this is like the hair mask that they have in the range. They do have a lot of products now, but this is the hair mask. Now this is, has a couple of different uses. You can have it in your hair dye when it's being colored, um, which just helps repair and strengthen it so that the hair dye isn't like doing as much damage and it comes out in better condition than it was before. Or I use it as a hair mask at home. So exactly the same as I explained with the others, saturate my hair, hair cap on, um, that is how I use it. But it is a bit more expensive. So as you can see, it's a tiny little bottle and this is £32. When you compare it to this, which is £7 and this is £32, you can see why I alternate between the two products. But it is a miracle worker. So I will use this on my hair one to two times a month, um, depending on how dry it is and how much it needs it. But you will find that once you use this, it completely transforms your hair. Um, it repairs the damage that is on your head, basically. There is nothing like it in, in the market. I've gone to a couple of places and asked if there's anything like similar, if they have any dupes, and there is just nothing. So I actually get mine from Amazon, and I think it's a little bit cheaper. I pay £20 for it on there. And I do actually set it up on a subscription so that it's delivered every couple of months so that I'm never without it. And I tend to keep a stock on in the cupboard just in case. So next, moving on to shampoo and conditioner. And you may have guessed it if you know of Olaplex. Um, I use the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. Again, they are expensive. I don't use them every single day. I use them probably about once a week. Um, and I use literally the tiniest amount. Um, but they're really good. They're super, super hydrating. Um, really hydrating. I find that my hair can go greasy quite fast, but they are really good. They're really good at smoothing out your hair, really good at repairing, and um, definitely a must have in between the other products that I use. So if you're gonna take away one thing from this, I would say it's Olaplex, but it is quite expensive, and that's why I interchange between a couple of other products too. Next up, as I showed you before, is the Kevin Murphy Angel Wash and Rinse, this one's the rinse. Um, these are really good and lightweight, especially if you tend to have like greasy roots but dry ends. These are quite good ones. I find my hair doesn't get as greasy with these, um, but it definitely doesn't feel as smooth and soft as it does with, say, the Olaplex. With this one, my hair tends to be a bit more fluffy, a bit more um, textured than it does with the Olaplex but it is a nice product and I do really like it. These retail, again, for about 23 pounds. So um, the 23 pound for the conditioner, 23 pound for the shampoo. But one thing I will say, when I wash my hair with these, I don't find that I need to wash it as often as I do with the other product. So now I'm gonna move on to the next shampoo and conditioner that I use, which is the Beauty Works um, Pearl Nourishing Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I picked this up because I saw Molly May use them and I was like, I need your hair. And they are really good formulas. They are really nice. So as a bit of history to my shampoo and conditioner before I go into these, I used to use anything. Whatever was on offer at the supermarket is what I bought for my shampoo and conditioner until last year. So I decided to try and strip out a lot of silicones and sulfates um, from my hair care routine because they aren't good for your hair. 
So I went through a complete like, overhaul of every product that I used and the main starting point was my shampoo and conditioner. So because I've used sulfates and silicon based shampoos for so long, there was a build up in my hair of the product. So what I used was the Aveda rosemary shampoo. I think it was rosemary and mint. And it only cost me like 13 pounds. I think it's probably about 15 in the UK. And it's so nice. It kind of feels like if you've ever used that tea tree um, original source shampoo, it's a bit like that. And it like tingles on your head and feels lovely. But it's a clarifying shampoo. And I used that until the bottle was finished. And then I completely just eliminated it. Any clarifying shampoo that doesn't contain silicones and sulfates and stuff will work but um, that's the one that I just found locally, which I used and I really liked it. So what I would do is wash my hair with that first, and then I would go in with the Kevin Murphy Angel Wash after. So I was doing two washes of my hair and then conditioning it. And I just did that until the whole bottle was gone and then I just never used it again. And I just shampoo my hair as normal. So back to um, the Beauty Works Pearl Nourishing Argan Oil Conditioner. These are super hydrating, really, really heavy on the oil side, um, really nourishing. And if you're someone that suffers from greasy hair, they're probably not for you. My hair does go greasy fast with these. So with this and the Olaplex, my hair will show some grease the next day. But um, I do love them. And um, the reason I like them is because I do, as I said, get dry ends. I find that it works well for my ends. Uh, so that's why I'm sticking with them. And the reason I use the Beauty Works, like, this is the one I use most often. And that's because it's such good value for money. So for the standard size, it's £15. And I think for these larger ones, it's about £30. When you compare that to um, like this one, which is £20, um, is a big difference in savings. My husband has even started using these on a daily basis as well. I caught him the other day. But another good one, if you're blonde, is again from the Beauty Works, and that's the anti-yellow shampoo. And that's this one. So if I find that, I mean, my hair like is fading ridiculously um I am in desperate need of brightening it up but if I feel like it's going a bit dull a bit yellowy I will then use this um probably like once a month I'll be honest I don't use it a lot but I do use it just to kind of lift it a bit um, and just to keep me going until I can get to the hairdressers. So finally on to styling. Now, I have not styled my hair today. I've literally just washed it and let it dry naturally. And that is because I wanted to show you what my hair looks like just dried naturally and how it turns out. Um, this is no heat or anything on it. I've literally just left it to dry after I got out of the shower. Um, it has got a couple of kinks in it because I tied it up when I had a meeting. But apart from that, there's no curling tongs or straighteners or anything on my hair. This is just how it is naturally. So one thing I have found with having blonde hair is how much you need oil for your hair. And I will use oil even if I haven't washed my hair and it's feeling a bit dry on the ends, I will just give it a bit of like nourishing care with some oil. And one of my favorites is the Kerastase Elixir All Time. I think I'm saying that right. And that's this one here. Now, I have ran out of this, um, unfortunately, so... I need to reorder it, but this is one of my favorites. Um, the reason I like this is it's quite lightweight. So if you do have fine hair, it's really good for that. I can't remember how much this retails for, maybe around the 30, 40 pound mark, but a little bit does go a long way with this. I have had this for probably a couple of months until it's run out, so it does go a long way. Next, I've got the Percy Reed Hair Oil. It's the Wonder Treatment Oil Plus. This is one I have recently discovered and I do really like it, but again, a little goes a long way. I <laughs> got this out and started like pumping it in my hands and putting it through my hair and it was just green. Test it out, start off maybe with one. I think I used two to three pumps. I'm finding the past couple of days I've been using three, but usually it's two. So as soon as I am out the shower, I will then put these products in. I'll put my oil, um, a treatment like serum, and then I will go in with other products if I need them and if I'm styling my hair, which I'll show you. Next, moving on to serum. 
Um, and this is the only one I use. I used to use the Beauty Works 10 in 1 Miracle Spray, which is good, um, it's not bad. It doesn't have the effects that this does, but it's a lot cheaper. I mean, again, look at the size and I think this is 10 or 20 pounds. So, I mean, it is good, it's a good product, but I don't like it as much as this one. And this one, as I said, um, this and Olaplex 3 mainly have transformed my hair. So this is the number six bond smoother. And if you find that your hair is a bit like frizzy, a bit unruly, and you have some flyaways, just put a little bit of this on your hand, whether it's dry or whether it's damp, and smooth it through, and it just flattens everything. So as I said, like I have flyaways with my broken hair, but if I smooth this over, they just completely disappear. So this one, yeah, I cannot rave about this enough. It is incredible. Again, expensive, but I have to use this every day. And finally, every day, I will use the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Me Blonde Spray. Now, I don't know if you can see, it has this like shimmery residue at the bottom. So if I shake it up, you'll see that it all mixes in and it's this beautiful like pearly spray. So this is the blonde one. They have like a golden yellowy one for every everyone else, I guess. Um, this blonde one just subtly enhances your blondness, but it does also have some oils in. So again, if your hair is feeling a little bit dry and you just want some shine, I just spritz this through my hair and away I go. Um, you don't need a lot of it because again, it will make your hair super greasy. So I tend to use about five spritz, if that, I mean, that's a lot. So this again was about 20 pounds, but a little